Hello, welcome to our MEP Engineering course. Let us start with the first chapter, Introduction to MEP Engineering. MEP Engineering is also called as Building Services Engineering. Hence, we will use both the terms MEP Engineering and Building Services Engineering throughout the course. This presentation is an extract from MEP course conducted by Conserve Academy, Training Division of Conserve Green Building and MEP Solutions. The content of this presentation is owned by Conserve Green Building and MEP Solutions. Reproduction or distribution of this content without the permission of Conserve Green Building and MEP Solutions is strictly prohibited. At the end of this chapter, the audience will understand the importance of MEP Engineering, the scope of MEP Engineering, employment opportunities for MEP Engineers, and various stakeholders in a construction project. What is the importance of MEP services or MEP engineering in a construction or building project? Generally, construction sector is seen as a profession for architects and civil engineers. This is no more true. Construction sector is no more sector for only architects and civil engineers. In old days, buildings were built as shelter to protect people from extreme climate, animals, enemies, theft, etc. Modern buildings are no more brick and mortar. Modern buildings have many systems for comfort, safety and security of the occupants. HVAC systems that is heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems are used to control temperature, humidity and ventilation inside the building. Similarly, firefighting systems are used to extinguish accidental fire. Fire alarm systems are used to evacuate the occupants in case of fire. And there are many more systems in modern buildings. Engineers from various disciplines, especially mechanical and electrical engineers are required to design, install, operate and maintain these systems. What is the scope of MEP engineers? MEP is an abbreviation of Mechanical, Electrical and Plumbing. MEP services can be classified into Mechanical Services, Electrical Services and Plumbing Services. MEP services are also called as Building Services in countries like UK, Canada, Australia, etc. Whereas in India, uh, Middle East and US, the term MEP is commonly used. Mechanical services include ventilation and air conditioning. Air conditioning system can be either heating system or cooling system. Here is a typical installation of HVAC system. There are a number of services under electrical services which include HT and LT power distribution. HT and LT are abbreviations of high tension and low tension which in turn means high voltage and low voltage power distribution. Power and control cabling, lighting, emergency and exit lighting, earthing and lighting protection system, low voltage systems, building security systems and building management system. We will discuss about all these services in details in the later chapters. Plumbing services include domestic hot and cold water supply, wastewater management, rainwater management, and fire protection. Fire protection is also called as firefighting. In today's MEP industry, plumbing services are also covered by mechanical engineers. So a mechanical engineer should learn both HVAC system and plumbing system. Why MEP engineering is the evergreen career option? We can list a few reasons to showcase the significance of MEP engineering. Global population is increasing gradually. At the same time, Environmental regulations restrict development of agricultural and forest area. So, more population has to be accommodated in less land. This increases the demand of high-rise buildings. MEP services in high-rise buildings require much more engineering skills compared to conventional buildings. Historically, the population density was higher in tropical and moderate climates. This includes countries like India, China, etc., where there is no need for air conditioning. 
but globalization have caused migration of population to extreme climates like Canada, Middle East, etc. In these countries, the building has to be air conditioned to provide thermal comfort against extreme climatic conditions. This increases the demand for MEP engineers. Modern buildings are designed and built more people centric. Consider a building providing softer services. Services are provided by people and more money is spent on people than the building. That is, the people's salaries cost is more than the design and construction cost and operations and maintenance cost. Hence, it is important to keep people comfortable so that they offer better service. Where MEP engineers can be employed? MEP engineers can be employed with any stakeholder in construction sector. There are multiple stakeholders in a construction project. We will discuss them. There are number of stakeholders in the pre-construction stage, construction stage and post-construction stage. We will discuss them one by one. In the pre-construction stage, the main stakeholders are the owner, the project management consultant, the design consultant. The design consultant in turn will have multiple disciplines of consultants like architecture and structural consultants, MEP consultants, specialized consultants like cost consultant, green building consultant, value engineering consultant, etc. During construction, the main stakeholders are supervision consultant, main contractor, MEP contractor and testing and commissioning agency. Post construction that is during operations. The stakeholder will be owner and the facilities management. We will discuss about the specific role of all these stakeholders later during the course. To summarize in this chapter, we discussed the importance of MEP engineering, scope of MEP engineering, employment opportunities for MEP engineers and various stakeholders in a construction project. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. Thank you very much.